Uh, hello. Are we on? Awesome. Uh, so we're here talking to Richard Sherman, uh, and I don't want to talk about football. I would like to talk about his luxurious hair. Just got back from Europe, and the first thing that I'm doing, except sleeping, is coming here to the game. What's going on? This is Jersey Drake, the official. I, I compare this to like we were the Beatles of. 2013, like everywhere we go, we, our fan base is coming. Anytime we go out in the streets, people coming up to us on pictures and autographs. You can't even go to the grocery store without being stopped by, by these fans. <laughs> it just resonated with people. Like when people turn on the TVs, they could look at us and like, man, those guys are fun to watch. Those dudes are exciting. Those dudes love each other. Those dudes love football. For us to be that team of that time of that generation, you know, to be a part of it, it was very, very fun. Holy shit, that's Dr. Dre. Winners of 10 straight at CenturyLink Field, looking to make it 11 today against the visiting Tennessee Titans. Play fake by Lynch. Throws down the middle. He's got a man. He caught Baldwin. 10, 5, down to the 3 is Doug Baldwin. Fourth and goal from the 1. Who is going to be tougher right here? Lynch goes straight ahead and he's in. Touchdown, Seahawks. Fitzpatrick is going to throw. Fires the wall. It's picked off at the 42 yard line. Overthrown and picked off by Earl Thomas. So the Seahawks continue their win streak here at home. Now 11 straight games. The play that I want to talk about did not actually happen during live ball action. It happened when you went to go chest bump Cam Chancellor and you knocked him clear across the field. Were you that strong? Was he not ready? What happened? Uh, I don't know, man. Cam too big to be falling like that, man. I wasn't expecting that, but you know, just enjoying your teammates, enjoying this process, and I was just enjoying our, my teammates. And uh, he, just, he just so happened to catch the wrong end of the day. He's going to be on Come On Man probably. <laughs> the biggest personalities on our teams were some of the younger guys. You know, the Sherms at the time, the Camp Chances, the Earls. They were the young guys. There were so many other personalities in that locker room as well. Golden Tate, Doug Baldwin, like Jermaine Curse. Marshawn was Marshawn, Mike was Mike, and Sherman was Sherman, and Earl was Earl. I mean, that was, um, to me, that's just that's just as sweet as it gets to see that emerge and see it come to life. And yeah, we got a lot of crazy people on this team right here. You know? sad. But now I'm ready to get out here with all my brothers, man. Just all these different personalities, when you get a camera in front of them, you just don't know what you're going to get, right? No bringing me back my favorite uh, celebration. Too much belly going a couple of different directions. <laughs> yeah, that was a little scary. <laughs> Mine was the same from even when I came from Detroit. It was a little, and actually I was showing love to, to Purdue, Boiler Up. Cam celebration was amazing. Of course, Mike B's celebrations were always great. The two pumps dance was my favorite dance. Everybody liked that dance in Seattle. <laughs> Mike B. <laughs> I'll wear your granddad's clothes. I look incredible. I'm in this big and cold from that thrift shop down the road. I'll wear your granddad's clothes. I look incredible. Come on, man. I'm in this big and cold from that thrift shop down the road. I'm gonna pop some tags. Only got twenty dollars in my pocket. I'm, I'm, I'm hunting, looking for a come up. This is. Awesome. <laughs> Big time game, Thursday night. We're the only team playing tonight. Should be big. Should win, as usual. It's the five and one Hawks against the three and three Arizona Cardinals. The Seahawks on Thursday night. They're six and one on prime time. And that's the important number to remember. Out of the shotgun is Russell Wilson, takes a snap, here comes the blitz, scrambles right side, looks, 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 throws deep, he's got a man out here, he's got Sidney in the corner, touchdown Seahawks! Russell Wilson rolling to his right, 
rolling against the blitz. A wide open Sidney Rice in the corner of the end zone. A beautiful lofted pass. The Seahawks on the board. His wisdom and his knowledge about the game. And just his, his demeanor. He had a calm demeanor. When we were in situations where like Jermaine and I may be panicking, right? Uh, Sidney just had this cool, calm, and collective point of view of like, nah, we'll, it'll be all right. He just did a great job of just continuing to guide us and, you know, whether it was in the film room, whether it was at his house, uh, hanging out, just talking about things. Um, it was more than just kind of football stuff. I mean, he provided a lot of guidance off the field as well. The way that we had the success that we did, a lot of that had to do with Sidney Rice's leadership style. Average! 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 Lynch, the single setback, the shotgun snap to Wilson, takes the snap, has time, looks, fires down the middle, got a man out there, Zach Miller lays out in the back of the end zone from 15 yards, what a catch by Zach Miller. Zach was Mr. Fundamental himself, man. he did everything right, he was such a great leader for our team. Zach, how was your offseason, man? Man, it's been good, I had twins, it's been busy. Been busy? Yeah. You getting any sleep? Nope. <laughs> he was just rock solid. He would, did everything right. He gave you everything. He got every single chance he, he had. 55 seconds to play. The only fans left are Seahawks fans, and you can hear them yelling, Seahawks! Seahawks. Yeah! Yeah! Feels good, man. Big roll win. What's next, though? I really like to look at the tape to see if the wide receivers were getting open, because I think they were getting open tonight. You know, you get guys who are Hall of Fame players in the NFL coming at receivers who are undrafted, calling us pedestrian, and like, you know, that, I understand the media component of that, but that baffled me to some degree. I probably had a bad influence on him at some points at Stanford, you know. Doug, when he gets locked in, and he's locked in something, he's real killer, and he's gonna kill, and he's gonna get it done, and he's gonna be really intense about it. Like, I'm gonna be intense, but I'm gonna be more playful intense. He's gonna be intense, intense all the time. Average! Pedestrian! Average! Pedestrian! Hey, we're not the main cause, we're the appetite pedestrian! Shut up! It felt like if you're gonna come at me and my, my guys, and you're gonna come at me and my guys. We knew who we were as a group, and we knew what we were capable of. Um, I mean, we had great players Golden, Percy, Doug, um, myself, Sydney. So we had a, like a really good group. There's not a better example than Doug Baldwin. You know, Doug came to us and didn't get drafted and came in here with the, with an enormous chip on his shoulder to prove that he belonged. He's a very intelligent dude. He's a you know one of the best Seahawks receivers in the history of our organization. Got a man downfield. It's Doug Baldwin in the end zone. And the catch on the sideline was home. No way. Fires inside. Doug Baldwin makes the catch. He's in. Doug Baldwin has been a man possessed today. Jermaine, myself, and Golden, like we all wanted to outshine each other. We all wanted to obviously help the team win, but we're still competing as receivers on the team as well. You've talked a little bit about Percy's injuries, but when Sydney got injured. Enzo! And broken up by Janaris Jenkins as they tried to get into Sydney Rice. And Rice slow to get up. When Sydney got hurt, I kind of got more opportunities. Um, and you know, you never really want to see people get hurt, but you know, in reality, it provided me the opportunity to, you know, get out on the field more um, and just be able to make more plays. And so for me, I was just zoned in and just like, here's my chance. I was throwing at Jermaine, I just knew he, was gonna, he had such great hands and he had such great body control. He's gonna lay it up over the top. Curse is there, Curse reaches up. He makes the catch, he is in. I can't say enough about Jermaine Curse, not only as a player and as a teammate, but as my brother outside of the game of football. I love Jermaine Curse, will always love him. He's my family for life. I just got the golden tiles. Everybody, say what's up to G Tate. What's up, what's up? He I'm better get here watching, what is this, America's Next Gladiator war Warrior or something like that? And playing Russell. Golden and I, when I got into the league, like we were like this. I mean, we lived pretty much, we were neighbors. It's so funny because I played against him in college too. We played Notre Dame. I mean, and he went for like 250 on us. And the pass is caught by Tate. I'm just like, who is this little bowling ball guy that's just tearing us up. 
Golden was unique. <laughs> that is for sure. Uh, but Golden's specialty was making people miss after he caught the ball. You could deem him as the Yak King, the yards after catch, because when he had the ball, it was just kind of like watching a highlight film. Added a different element to our game. It made us very, very dangerous. He had this confidence about him that was contagious. Nobody has more confidence than Golden Tate. <laughs> Nobody has more confidence in themselves than Golden Tate. Turn up, let's go. Play fake. Wilson half rolled to the right side. Looks back down the middle. He's got a man. Throws the ball deep. He's got Golden Tate who makes the catch. He goes. He could go 20, 15, 10. A flag is down for taunting. But he is into the end zone for a touchdown. As Golden Tate made a fabulous catch. An 80-yard touchdown. The problem was he was waving at one of the defenders as he was running down the field. That's going to get a 15-yard penalty. Hey, you a straight fool. I can dance. We'll take care of that. Don't worry about it. We hated the Rams. I, I hated the Rams because there was always that sneaky team that would be like, OK, they're losing to everybody else, but for some reason when they play us. Third down and goal now. The ball's going to be spotted just outside the one-yard line. I was pissed they drove all the way down the field, and uh, I can think of Brandon Mebane, you know, making a touchdown-saving tackle. But I also felt a calmness uh, to know that, like, this was a group that was never, ever out of the fight. They're, like, this far from winning the game. It's on us, man to man, nut up, balls to the wall, let's make it happen. It came down to that moment, and, like, we were just in a huddle, like, we're not giving this up. Three tight ends, offset eye, Richardson in the backfield. He gets it, looks for running room. He's okay, okay, now I remember. Now I remember, this is Heath Farwell, goal line stand. Heath doesn't play defense. <laughs> this dude made a, a Pro Bowl career just playing special teams. And Heath put his body and neck and his brain on the line for us on this play. We always had the mindset of bend but don't break. Like that was our, always our thing. Like you might get a yard or two, but you're not you're not crossing that goal line. This is going to be the last play of the game. Fourth and goal from the two. Long count by Clements. Takes the ball. Here comes the blitz. Over the top to throw. The ball is incomplete. The Seahawks are going to win this game. No flag is down. No flag is down. The game is over. The Seahawks go to seven and one on the season. I don't know that I can take <laughs> another one like that. It's tough to get wins in this league, so uh, you know, uh, no matter how how we play, the win's a win. We're gonna learn from this. Uh, you know, it, it, we won, but it kind of feels like we, we we didn't. Next time on Season of Boom. I think my second year was the year that I was able to play free. We are not gonna go away because that's not what we do. Was this a good move? Was this a bad move? I'm well, good. I do remember this play. Wobbly ball by Marshawn. This was another, like, one of those. Like, I, I remember uh, when we put this uh, play in during the during the practice week and we ran it. I'm like, man, if we call this, I'm doing an A-Town stop. <laughs> I don't know if people remember the A-Town stop. People judge me. They said it wasn't that good. I thought it was pretty good.